Hello everybody, it's Amber, and I have another craft fair project to share with you. I've created these before. In fact, I had them on my craft fair series last year as well, but they're super popular at the craft fair, so I decided to go ahead and make them again. So I'm going to link below the initial inspiration, the video where I got my inspiration from the very first time I made these, which was last year. It was from Carrie's Paper Crafts, and she does have a YouTube channel, and I think it's a different name. I can't remember it off the top of my head, but I'm going to find the video and link it below because she made these with little Ghirardelli chocolates. So this is just my twist on her project. You can take the idea and put chocolates in them. You can put, you know, instead of using a stamp, you can use a flower embellishment, anything. So last year I did a tutorial on these, and I'm going to link my tutorial below so you can make these for gifts or for your craft fair. It's super easy. What I'm going to do is just share the ones that I made and show the little tiny changes, and then at the end I'll talk about my pricing. So I wanted to show you, first of all, this year I went to Tuesday morning, and I found this really awesome deal. It's a big, huge box of Christmas teas. And as you can see, they're all individually wrapped. And you get 100 tea bags in here. And I'll show you what they look like up close. So there's four different kinds. And here's like one that, this one's peppermint ginger. But just look, look how cute the package is with the little village. And it's all individually wrapped. And there's all these Christmas scents. So they've got breakfast special, Peppermint Ginger, um, Silent Night, and then I forgot one. Let's see what the other one is. The other one is Holiday Blend. So I picked that up, and there's, like, like I said, 100 in there, and I only used, I think, 25 of them. So I made 25 tea pocket favors, and I, you know, these are easy, and anybody can do them, but they're quite the process. Um, you know, it's not just, you know, cut paper, glue it down, and pop a tea bag in it. It's kind of, because I do stamping and I do layering and things like that, it is kind of a process. So, while it is simple, it's time consuming, and, but it's super fun to mass produce these. So, I'm going to share with you the ones that I made this year. Okay, so I know I say it every time, but I apologize for the background noise. My husband's watching TV, and I'm... I like to sit out here and craft um, while he's out here watching TV so we can spend time together even though we're doing separate things. Anyways, so here are the pocket favors that I made. I'm going to lay them all out so you can see them. Okay, so these are, I think, 19 of them, and as you can see, they're super cute. I just use Christmas paper, and I use this stamp right here. This actually came from the paper source, so I don't know if they still carry it, but my husband got this for me as a gift, and it's from the paper source, see? And I think it was like $6. And I used this last year, and I just love it. So I just punch, I stamped it out and punched that out with my circle punch, and then I put a scallop circle, and then I popped it up on dimensional adhesive. And so I'm going to show you the insides of these in just a second. But there's this design. And I've got, so I used Christmas paper on all of these because I want them to be like little stocking stuffers or little Christmas gifts. And I would definitely recommend if, you know, you want to make these for gifts if you don't do craft fairs maybe. You can make these for all your friends or all, you know, the ladies at church or all the your neighbor friends or your book club or something. You know, pair it with like a really cute mug or like a tea, you know, a teacup. So it's just different cute ideas. I made all these cute designs and that's what the back looks like. I just use sheer ribbon on most of them. This is one of my favorites. I use some October afternoon paper and it's really whimsical. So here's some of these. I used all double-sided paper. So those are a lot of the ones I made and let me put these back in the basket and I'm going to show you 
the insides of all the different um, designs. just the women in my family and I just absolutely it's probably one of my favorite days of the year if you watch my videos I've talked about it before I absolutely love my Christmas tea that I host and if you want to host a Christmas tea totally these would be the perfect little favor for each of your guests you can you know put it at their little um, put it at their place setting at the table and just set it there and you can even put their name on the inside like right here or anything so here is I didn't tie this ribbon so I could show you here's what it looks like so I've zoomed in just a little here's what the little tea favor looks like and it's just simply you just open it and there's a little pocket inside and I teach you how to do that in the tutorial and inside is a little cute tea bag now you can take this side and you can you know write a message here you can like put some cream cardstock here and write your little message a little poem or a quote. Last year I stamped a little stamp that said enjoy the simple things. So there's this style and then here's that cute little October afternoon one. Here's the inside. I used some satin ribbon on this one. So isn't it cute being double sided paper? And then here is the tea. So this is actually just, you can get three pocket holders. You can get three tea favors out of one piece of 12 by 12 cardstock. So that's how many you can get out of one double sided 12 by 12 cardstock. So just to kind of let you know, but like I said, the tutorial will explain it in detail. So here's this really pretty one. A cute ribbon. Coming off a little bit. So I'm gonna get these tied up as soon as I show them to you guys. And then here's this one. I love that I found these Christmas teas. They're just so cute. This one's with the, I know this is the All That Glitters collection by Webster's Pages. So here's this one, All That Glitters collection as well. And this cute one. So as you can see in the basket that I had shown you, I made several of each one. And I'm going to get these ones tied up and put in my basket. So I made 25 of these little tea favors and they were so much fun to make. I loved mass producing them. I wish I had more time to make more. Okay, so pricing on these little cuties. Last year, I charged $1. Now, they went like super, super fast. Like... Some, one lady bought 12 of them and I was left with like 13 left so I had to come home and make some more so definitely I'm gonna be charging two dollars or two for three and you may think eh, two dollars for just you know this but these are a process I had to cut the paper score the paper cut these little circles out then I had to stamp these out and then trim the edges glue it on here put this on here put all the little T's in tie the ribbon on and that's, you know, for one. And so, as I said before, they're fun to mass produce if you have the time, but they are a lot of work. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do the $2. I took, I'm, you know, I'm gonna take some of your advice that you gave me last year. Some people thought it was crazy to do $1. So I'm gonna do $2 or two for three. I think that they'll still sell good. So that's my project for you tonight. Like I mentioned, I have a tutorial here on my channel that I'm going to link below, so make sure you go check that out if you'd like to make these for your craft fair. Thanks again so much for watching, and I hope you all have a great week. Bye-bye!